Hey, it's Haley Dodd with the Red Carpet Report, and we're at the LA Film Fest for the world premiere of Officer Down. Nice to meet you, you, Steve. Hi, Hi Haley. Nice, Haley, to, nice meet to meet you. you. How, this is a big night. I mean, not only for you guys, but I've just heard so much anticipation and excitement yeah. about yeah, this. It's a huge crowd, too. It's yeah. very exciting. And you, the screening sold out. So. Yeah, that's what I Yeah, that's fantastic. And we're still awake at 11.15 p.m. Yeah, I know, which is really even Woo! more incredible. <laughs> I swear, I'm a grandma. But what was this like filming or producing this movie different from other works that you've done with comic books? and? Well, we're man of action and we're primarily known for currently like a lot of kid stuff because we created the characters for Big Hero 6, we created Ben 10, and Officer Down is kind of the first media property in film for us and it's certainly the first one that has like bodies exploding and crazy ninja people and trucks crashing through walls and, and a cop who comes back from the dead every time you kill him. So it's a little different than our normal fare. Well, yeah, that we're known for. But honestly, <laughs> actually, uh, a lot of our publishing stuff, this fits well in uh, in with a lot of other things that we publish. So it's just very exciting to see it, uh, this come to film uh, uh, and how it, it has been uh, deciphered from the comic page at, uh, to the screen. Pretty literally translated. Very literal. And, uh, and so that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be very interesting and fun to see how the audience reacts. I wanted to say how true to form was this to the comic book? How much did Sean envision for the writer? Well, on set, uh, the times that we were on set checking things out, we noticed that Chris Burnham's illustrations for the comic book, they would rip out of the book and have, like, pasted to the walls in the various production offices. And I think, you know, I don't think the movie looks exactly like the comic book, but I do think that Sean was inspired by those images, and certainly Kim Coates looks exactly like the comic book character in the best possible way. And I think the attitudes, uh, a lot of the camera angles, a lot of the pacing, all of those things are... Yeah are going to, for people who've read the comic, are going to, it's going to be very familiar to them. And the color palette also, yeah. I think, carried over to a great degree. The color in this is really cool. Yeah. And I, when I look back at the book this afternoon, it was like, oh, a lot of this is like what the film looks like. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's right. What was it like working with Sean? And I mean, the rest of the cast, too, but this was his first time doing a huge directing feature. Our, uh, our dealing with Sean is really very tangential. Joe Casey uh, interfaced with him the most so he would be uh, probably be best to answer that question uh, but he looked amazing on set like the times we were there they were shooting gunfights uh, both days that I was yeah. there watching stuff and he was he was keeping a really tight ship and really like putting the camera in all kinds of crazy places and it, it just looked really frenetic like the comic yeah yeah and also a lot like his personality too I think that uh, Sean for for his opening uh, salvo in directing this was probably almost a perfect um, it's a good mesh. Yeah. Yeah. And so for people leaving tonight, what are you wanting them to think when they're driving home? Because, I mean, from what I see, I don't know what I would think. Yeah. We saw it. We saw it a couple months ago. And when I was driving home, I was like, what the hell was that? I, uh, There's I, a lot of stuff I, in there. I, I hope that uh, much like uh, uh, members in Fight Club, once they got hit in the face, uh, they didn't know what happened, but they loved it. And that's hopefully the, what's going to happen with it. Yeah, I mean, it's a film that's trying to do something very specific outside of the studio system, and it's it hits those sweet spots. I mean, if you like Crank and you like Grindhouse kind of stuff, I think this is going to be the movie people will be talking about. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm excited to see this, and I'm excited for you guys. Congrats. Big right, night. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a good night. If you like this interview, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, I'd like to hear what is your favorite comic book movie?